Praise the Lord. This is the online church of Uganda, and I am the Reverend Cyrus Mulwana, and this is the word of God that cometh to us. My son, in whom I am well pleased, is our topical concern this morning, and we shall be reading from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 3, verse 13 to 17. Then Jesus went from Galilee to the Jordan River to be baptized by John. But John tried to talk him out of it. I am the one who needs to be baptized by you, he said. So why are you coming to me? But Jesus said, it should be done, for we must carry out all that God requires. So John agreed to baptize him. After his baptism, as Jesus came up out of the water, the heavens were opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and settling down on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my dearly loved Son, who brings me great joy. Father, it is a desire that you will speak. And just when you speak, remind us to be doers of your word. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Now, this is a very short passage. This is a very short passage. We have the story of Jesus, one. We have the story of Jesus coming to John to be baptized. And after a very short interval, we are seeing Jesus being baptized by John. And then right after there, we, we, we are introduced to the descent of the Spirit from heaven on Jesus and in a special way that voice from heaven. What makes this passage very significant and of course very difficult at the same time to interpret are perhaps three quotations. Quotation one, John's uneasiness about baptizing Jesus. Quotation number two, John's Jesus' explanation about of, of, of why John should baptize him. He says, it should be done, for we must carry out all that God requires. And maybe number three, quotation number three, one of the most perturbing ones is the voice that cometh from heaven to confirm the person and work of Jesus. Permit me to zero down on the third quotation, and that is the voice that cometh from, from heaven to confirm the person and work of Jesus. That is particularly verse 17. The voice that comes from heaven is the voice of approval. This means that every time that God sets us out on a task, he approves. Every time that God sends you out on a task, he has to approve. In fact, Approval comes before you partake on of that task. Secondly, note that those that he approves are those that do his will. And those that do his will, he loves as a father. Let me, let, let, let me bring it down closer to us. Because I know many of us are already asking themselves a question. What is the will of God? Beloved, God wills that we set out to witness to generations, live holy, acceptable lives, conforming not to the standards of this world, as Romans chapter 12, 1, 2 puts it across. Beloved, God desires that he approves us the very way he approved of his only son, Jesus Christ. But before he approves us, he's des approves us, he desires that we partake on of his will. And his will is simple, live holy, acceptable lives. You know, when you read through the history of this particular text, you will come to realize that many of those that were baptized repented. But the Bible dictionary puts it right that Christ did not repent because he had no sin. He lived a holy, 
acceptable life before the Father. One reason as to why we have not received the approval of God is we do not live holy, acceptable lives. And that is the will of God. This morning, it is my prayer that you set out into the world and live yourself a holy, acceptable life before God. And man, of course, but above it all, before God. Approval comes after we do the will of God. Christ received this approval because he lived a holy, acceptable life. The Bible says he had no sin. In fact, the Bible says he carried unto himself all our transgressions and iniquities. Beloved, may you now set out into the world and do the will of the Father. From then on, you will definitely receive the approval of God. Approval in all what you do. After receiving this approval, there shall be establishment of us from wherever we shall set foot to the glory of God. Amen. Father God, thank you for your word. It is my prayer that I will set out now and live a holy, acceptable life before you. And from then on, I believe and trust that your approval shall be my portion. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Merry Christmas.